Hey, what's up? So you guys seem to like these sort of videos where I do uh, tutorials on do follow links. So here's a, another one. It's going to be quick. So let's get straight into it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll leave the domain in the description. So it is heardis.at. So essentially, as usual, you go to the domain, you sign up. I'm not going to sign up because it's pretty straightforward. Make sure you verify your email. And again, make sure the profile looks real. Otherwise, these links will get removed. Okay. Mine does not look real. It has a generic name, doesn't have a cover photo, doesn't have a photo on here. So make sure all these are done before you um, start placing your links. Otherwise, again, these are essentially useless because they'll get removed. So once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your profile right here and click Edit Profile. And make sure to add, again, all of this uh, is inside of the bubble of making this look real. So fill all this in. Uh, profile description links here are kind of useless because I'll show you in a second your links that are going to show up publicly are not the ones you put here nor the ones you put here on your social media again make sure this looks real don't put a link to your website here make sure to put a link to your Facebook or to your Twitter again I have to say this over and over again make sure this look real look, looks real otherwise they'll get removed at a location fill all this in after you have all this done where you add your links is here you go to sets and you click create a new set. And let me show you first how the link looks. If I open this in an incognito window really quickly, this is how it looks. Okay. So as you can see here, I love vetu.com and this is a do follow link. As we can see here, it is a do follow link, right? So how do you do it? You essentially create a new collection as I was showing you just a minute ago. And let's go again to our profile like so and go to sets. Create new set. Let's name it uh, My Plumber's Site. This doesn't really matter. Uh, doesn't really matter. Make sure it's public and then create set. Okay, so once you're here, you click on uh, Edit. And then here is where you add your link. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then like this. Okay, and then hit Save. Also, make sure to click on um, this one to the left, otherwise it will be private, it will be set to private. Hit save, then what you do is you copy this, go here again to the incognito window, and as you can see, here's your link. If we inspect it, it is a do follow link. If we go to the profile, as I did just a second ago, um, like this, oops, sorry. This is the profile, okay? Again, the links that we just posted before on the profile, like the social media and all that, it won't show, at least not that I've found. But when you go to sets, you have all you have these two. The one we just created, which has a do follow link right here, and the one I created before to test it out, the one for vetted, I love vetted.com, links to vetted. That's essentially it, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, again, a simple do follow link you can create with high metrics, um, I gotta promote uh, this one, this plugin, because it's free. It is called Vetted SEO Helper, and essentially it uh, lets you audit any type of site. So if we go here to, let's go here to, let's go here to Vetted, and let's, firstly, let's click Install, Add Extension. And again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. We can audit Vetted site really quickly with this, right? We have a summary for the meta title, meta description. We have the open graph images. We can see if uh, we have a Twitter one. Uh, we can even preview it uh, right here. Headings, you can check all your headings, H1s, H2s. You can essentially make an audit from this. Images, you can see all the images on our site. You can see the ones that have alt text. You can see the alt text. You can see the ones that don't have alt text, which is a must fix. Links, all your links. Files, it's a bit more technical. If you want to see the robots.txt, the sitemap, and all that. Um, and tools for all your audits. So, for all your audits, sorry. Pretty cool tool, totally free. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, let me know if you like this type of videos. I mean, you guys seem to like it because they get a ton of views, so I'll keep on doing them. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward link. Uh, again, do follow one. Uh, I need to say that these links will not rank me number one, right? These are le low powerful links, not low powerful links. They are, they are less powerful links, right? You need a bunch of these to get ranked. Uh, they're just a nice to have. And if you want to diversify your architect's portfolio or uh, build some profile links to your client sites, these are great ones. These are finds that I find um, throughout the internet. And I guess I'll, 
I'll, um, I guess I'll share them with you because why not? Yeah, that's it. I'm just rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Cheers.